Today we're taking a look at our all new Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II for cut strips or uncut rolls of 35 millimeter film, as well as a wide host of other specialized or discontinued film formats smaller than 35 millimeter. This Mark II carrier is being introduced alongside its 120 or medium format counterpart, the Pro Film Carrier 120 Mark II. You can watch all about that new product in a separate video that we'll link down below in the description. Since this is the Mark II version of our Pro Film Carrier 35, there's obviously going to be several new features and enhancements to its original design. Um, and which, if you didn't already know, the Pro Film Carrier 35 was actually the replacement for our first product, the Film Carrier Mark I. So in many ways, the Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II is the continuation of now five years of negative supply legacy that all began with 35 millimeter and today is taking a massive leap forward. Just like both of its predecessors, the Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II is built tough. This thing is made out of solid metal. A uh, couple of enhancements though, the sides of this carrier are now steel and they're powder coated black. This thing has some weight to it. It is hefty, but it stays in place. It offers a nice, stable, professional workflow, whether you're scanning strips or rolls, one cent film, eight millimeter, whatever it is, uh, this carrier really just stays in place. It has the heft and weight of a professional tool, and it's built to last through a lifetime of professional enduring use. Since the launch of our original Film Carrier Mark I for 35 millimeter scanning back in 2019, and the subsequent launch of our original basic film carrier 35 in early 2021, we have always offered specialized cassettes like 110 or APS. But until the Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II, there was no way if you changed those cassettes to have the film advance roller or module actually mechanically move your film from frame to frame without handling the film by hand. So how does that change on the Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II? There's a couple things that are new. For one, you still have interchangeable film format cassettes for all these different formats. This, for example, is an APS cassette, or for example, a full border 35 millimeter scanning cassette that shows the sprockets. But the biggest difference is that now we have magnetically interchangeable film advance modules. So the way that we change to a new format with the Pro 35 Mark II is we change the cassette and the film advance module in a couple of quick steps. We'd start by removing the two thumb screws on top. Uh, this is a direct carryover from our Pro Film Carrier 35, and this same technology is also used on our basic film carrier 35 Mark II. Once we have those screws out, your film scanning cassette slides out. This is a standard 35 millimeter format cassette. And then our film advance module slides out and it magnetically engages with the carrier. So sliding it in and out is quick and easy. So once I take that out and take the cassette out, I can take my APS cassette and I can take my APS film advance module, put the module into the carrier, slide the cassette in next, then put my thumb screws back in place, tighten those down. And now I'm ready to scan APS film, but unlike previously, if you had taken your Pro Film Carrier 35 or the Film Carrier Mark I and you put the APS guides or an APS cassette in it, you could use it, but you'd have to pull it through by hand. Now I can actually use this film advance knob to go from frame to frame. So now that our APS cassette and our APS film advance module are installed, it's easy to move from frame to frame. Simply use the film advance knob to go back and forth. And this is how you would quickly scan any of these specialized formats. At present, for our Pro Film Carrier 35 Mark II and our Basic Film Carrier 35 Mark II, which use the same interchangeable cassettes, we have several offerings. We have our standard 35 millimeter cassette with half, full, and panoramic or X-pan masks. We have our full border 35 millimeter mat, our full border 35 millimeter cassette with half, full, and panoramic masks. Then we have 8mm and Super 8 as a singular cassette. We have 110 slash 16mm as a cassette. We have APS, we have 126, we have Minox Sub Miniature as well. And there are others forthcoming. In addition to our Pro 35 Mark II using the same interchangeable cassettes as the Basic 35 Mark II, it uses the same film scanning hood. 
simply called our 35 millimeter film scanning clip with no adapters or hardware required. It comes out of the box and drops straight onto your Pro 35 Mark II carrier. Easy. Now, right now I have our full border 35 millimeter cassette installed, uh, but it works the same way as our standard 35 cassette would. So when you have your carrier in front of you and you're getting ready to scan your 35 millimeter film, you would start by selecting the correct format mask. These are included with the, with the standard and full border 35 mil cassettes. Just slide the mask into the side of the carrier and then you're gonna put your carrier on your light source and you're ready to scan. Now the Profilm Carrier 35 Mark II is available in a few configurations. It's available a la carte. It's available also with the Promount Mark II, as you see here, with this two-stage adapter plate, which is this adapter plate itself that connects the Pro 35 to either a light source or directly to the Promount. And then it's gonna include the secondary adapter plate, our standoffs, and then our double-sided dust removal brush, which works for 35 or 120 film. You can additionally use our Pro 35 Mark II directly on a light source without the Pro Mount Mark II. Just make sure you have our light source adapter plate and it drops straight onto the light. No additional tools, hardware, or accessories required. The new Pro 35 Mark II really speaks for itself in terms of its added modularity and functionality into the negative supply film scanning ecosystem. When you integrate with the Pro Mount Mark II, our light sources, the adapter plates, the film scanning hood, and even our copy stands that all play together. It is a thoughtful, purpose-built system built to last a lifetime of professional use. This product, as well as all the variations that we've discussed in this video, is available for order now at the Negative Supply website and through our retail network globally. If you have any questions about this product or anything else in our ecosystem, please feel free to send us an email, use the contact form on our website, our live chat function, or schedule a free concierge call. You can have a 30 minute or longer appointment with someone from our team to help answer all your detailed questions. Whether you're just an individual user or an institution that needs to purchase a range of kits or various kits uh, for you know, your classrooms or an archival practice and so on, we can advise and help best guide you on what tools will make your workflow uh, feel revolutionized and give you more time back to allow you to spend more time making photographs as opposed to scanning them. Thanks again for tuning into this video. If you want to see more about our Profilm Carrier 120 Mark II, again, that link is in the description down below. And until next time, shoot some film.